Ted Cooper is the QB for the Utes. He's gonna attempt to lead the team to a victory on their home crowd. Swoop. That's the name of the mascot as well. Swoop, swoop, swoop. Shoop, shoop, shoop. The men in black, Utah Utes, try and knock down Arizona today. This is ESPN College Football. We are at Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake City. Tonight's matchup is between Arizona and Utah. Arizona will go with tails, and they win the toss, they're going to defer. Let's get it started. Who will be our return man? He'll be, back. He'll be Gasparo. Go! Let's speed up a little, and Gasparo will return this one. And take it into Wildcat territory. Great return by him and great blocking as well. So Jack Cooper, the QB with Fane, the running back. We're gonna run it with Cooper here. We'll get seven yards on the keeper. Second and three. Let's utilize the no huddle. Try this smash play. See if our short pass option is open. David Sin, run up! You gotta be shitting me. That's one flaw in this game. That I can't stand. So it's third and two now for the Utes. Get a, oh, he can't get over. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Good idea. Um, let's do curl flats. More comfortable with the pass here. There we go. First down by Gasparo. He'll step out of bounds, but he'll get a new set of downs for his squad. So there is a fourth down conversion early in this game. Bain will get a short game. Second and eight. Let's uh, go with a strong flood. There we go, found Garcia. He's going to score. Touchdown, Utes. So, a nice drive there. Kick started by the kickoff return by Nick Gasparro. And Utah is on the board. After this PAT, the score is now 7-0, Utah with the lead. Looks like Florida eked away with a victory against Missouri. We'll see if they are going to retain their number two ranking or even move up further after week eight. Here's the kickoff by Wilson. And Arizona will start off on the own 25. Impact player Pierre Barnes, his last game, 11 carries, 43 rushing yards, no touchdowns. So not much action from Barnes in his previous game. We hope to initiate the same result here. Quarterback for the Wildcats is McKinney. He is in shotgun. We have pass play. On first down, this is overthrown. Right was the intended target. So it's second and ten now. Hopefully the Utah fans can give some sort of boost here. Some sort of distraction to the Wildcats. Here's the handoff for Barnes. 
So Alvasa takes down Barnes for a loss of two. It's now third and 12. Ball is spotted on the Arizona 23. Let's go cover four. Three and out time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kenny back to pass. He's going to fall. Oh, yes, sir. Nicely done, Cronin. Got there at the last second to bat the ball down. So it is indeed a three and out. Arizona will have to punt this one. Rico. Return by Rice. And the Utes will start off right around midfield. Let's go read option. Sometimes I make my decisions fairly quickly when it comes to offensive plays. We'll run it up with Cooper. And he gets the first down. 15 yards on the keeper by Cooper. Sir, more read options on the menu this game since Cooper is a scrambler. Derek Fain runs it up for three yards. Second and seven. Let's go quicken the pace here. Let's try Z spot. Not by Garcia. Momentum took him backwards and he loses two. Just why? That is not fundamentals to catch a ball and end up backwards. Just not good programming in this game. So third and nine. Go with this passing play. This one going to the sideline for Coy. He makes the catch and gets the first down. Sixth straight completion by Jet Cooper. And now the Utes will be at the Arizona 13. Uh, play by Bain will lose a couple. So the hole closed up there. Justin Jameson able to reach the running back. And it's now second and 12. We're going to go play action here. There we go. Garcia with the catch. It's now third and inches. Let me do a standard run here. Bain is going to get the touchdown. Very nice. I was just wanting a yard there. Instead, Bain took it up for a couple more, and he reaches the end zone. PAT is good, and the score is now Arizona 0, Utah 14, with 131 left in the first quarter. Air swoop. Doing them push ups. Wonder if, if you apply to be a mascot if they ever give you a strength test. Or moments like those where you do the push ups in front of your home crowd. I imagine you have to be pretty athletic to be a mascot. Wagner moves over to the right side. And McKinney's going to pass. This one completed to J. Lee Person. And it's a first down for the Wildcats. So, first completion of the game by Brad McKinney. Goes for 20 yards. This is 
a run for Barnes. And we get him. Good. That pushed him back two yards. Second and 12. Oh, interesting. Let's go with the blitz. Free fire. Tiger once again in motion. McKinney hit as he was making the pass, still completes it to person. And it's a first down for Arizona. Well, the blitz failed. McKinney standing on midfield. He's going to pass again. Takes it to right. And it's complete. Arizona is now in the red zone. 34 yards on the catch by Garrett Wright. He's one of the top receivers in the Pac-12 this season. Given Barnes doesn't get much. He, in fact, he loses two on the play. Justin McQueen with the tackle for a loss. Second and 12. Mm, tired of asking, coach. Still with cover two sink here. McKinney screen play, but Scales will only get a yard there. Third and ten. Should we send another rusher? I think we should. Kenny rolls out, completes it to Jackson, and he showed her the first down. And that ends the first quarter. Our score at Rice Eccles Stadium, Arizona 0, Utah 14. You are watching Revamped After Dark here on Twitch. Okay, so the ball is at two. They're gonna attempt the field goal. Awesome. Not gonna risk it here. Just try and go for the guaranteed three points. And Arizona is now on the board. The score is 14-3, Utah with the lead. Alright, Gasparo is going to try it for another nice return. Oh, dude. Thought I was going to get a block down the left side. No block initiated. So, Gasparo downed at the Utah 23. That's where the Utes will start off on this drive. Utah up by 11 here at the start of the second quarter. Oh, oh dude. Counter play, it results in a two yard loss. Gordon Murphy with the tackle there. Second and 12. We'll just go with another run here. Try and get those two yards back. Oh, sheesh. Okay. Very nice. First down for Utah. Nice medium sized hole for Fane to run through. And he gets 12 yards on that play. Let's go with the read option here. Ah. Yeah, there's another first down. Jet Cooper takes it into Arizona territory. Play here. Blocked. Yes, yes, yes. Five yard gain for Derek Fane. Second and five. I feel like passing it now. Let's try inside smash. 
Whoa! No! Son of a bitch. Davis with the pick. I messed up when trying to hit the button. I saw two men open. And I kind of pressed two buttons at the same time. And it didn't register the button I didn't uh, I was intending to press. So a pick by Jet Cooper and Arizona takes over. Eric Wright with the catch. Eight yard gain. That's his second catch of the game. Second and two. Read option keeper by Brad McKinney. He's been a score. Breaks a tackle there by Cronin. So Zona responds to the interception. And they score in two plays. After this PAT, it's now... Arizona 10, Utah 14 with 417 left in the second quarter. Esparo, his third return here. Yep. Awesome, awesome. Esparo keeps returning it. Returning it for nice yardage. That's what I'm talking about. And okay, let's go with the read option. Bain will continue to stay up. And he'll get eight yards. Second and two. Should we continue to run? I think we should. And draw here. And it's a first down for the Utes. Bain now with 32 rushing yards on the day. Let's go with smash HP check here. All at midfield. There we go. Got Brown on the curl. He gets seven. Second and three. Job there by Fane to get the first. He was zigging and zagging. Ball's now on the Arizona 33. Let's go with the mid draw. Still mad about that pick. That dumb lob pick. Fane. In a three. It's now second and seven for the Utes. Get off my player. Double cover, it almost picked by Cortez Coleman. <laughs> I had to kind of hurry up there because I was being pressured, so let's try out this FL cross play. <laughs> oh no! I thought he was going to do an in route. I was confused there on what my outer receiver was going to do. So, I want us to kick the field goal. I think he's capable of doing it. 48-yard attempt by Wilson. And it's no good. He missed. What in the world happened there? Was there any wind? So, Arizona still down by four. As they take over on offense. Utes. It's gonna stop here. Nope. A big game by Kendrick Wagner, the tight end. On the first down for the Wildcats. Let's try cover one press. 
like any. Looking for... Mm, don't find no one. Second down. Oh, it's a man here. This is a handoff to Johnson. It's a loss of two for J.D. Johnson. Third and 12. There we go, defense. McKinney and shotgun with Barnes to his left. Jackson goes in motion. Caught by Jelly Person. They'll be short. And we'll use up our first time out here. Arizona. And a punt it. Which was the goal. We met our goal here on the drive. Way to go, defense. This one. Headed out of bounds. A good punt by number 39, Jude. Because the Utes will start off on their own. 18. Let's go Shakes. I haven't seen that play yet. We also have Cooper's Wheels. So we need to try and utilize that. Actually. Eh. All that for just a two yard gain. Second and eight. Luckily, Cooper didn't get hurt on the play. Let's try to cross sweep Flood. No! Coleman able to grab the pass. And it's another pick by Utah. Why do you run around like that, sir? Keep around, you gotta run in front of the defender, not behind him. So, the Wildcats now have great field position on this first play. They deliver a pass that ends up being incomplete because he stepped out of bounds. Did not get his one foot in. The one foot that the NCAA requires and now this review will be initiated. Let's see if the receiver... Eh, he was out. But you never know with this game. Oh my goodness, they reversed the call. They screwed me over. These reviews are really a toss up. Even though visually you see it and you see clearly the foot stepped on the white line. Instead, the refs call it another way. It's just unbelievable. And Arizona now has a chance to take the lead as they're at the five. Second and goal. 115 left in the second quarter. Two timeouts remaining from both squads. Screen pass to right. Goes nowhere. A loss of three. Probably was a bad pass. Headed for right. Yeah, it was a little bit behind right, which caused him to turn the other way and took a hit from behind. So third and goal now. Kenny going for the screen pass. And he'll be short. Nicely done, fourth and goal. Arizona will go for another field goal try. Took a timeout so we can so we can see if we can do anything here with 45 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Arizona gets the ball to start off the third quarter. And the score is now 14-13. Utah still with the lead, but that lead being trimmed little by little. Here we go, Gasparo gonna try and get himself a nice return. And he'll get a pretty good return here. He's to the 30, he's to the 20, he's to the 10, and Utah scores a touchdown. 
96 yard return by Nick Gasparro. Gotta credit the blocking there on the left side. They keep kicking the ball to Gasparro. Haven't they learned? But that will give Utah a 7 point lead with the PAT an 8 point lead. Scores now 21 13. Utah with 34 seconds in the second quarter. So special teams of the Wildcats giving me a gift there. And this one will be down for a touchback. We'll see what Arizona does here with 34 seconds left on the clock. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, Barn stats are not that spectacular. See a couple negatives there. That's all I can take away from that graphic. So first and ten. Well, only twenty-five. And they're gonna be having five receivers on this play. Getting back to pass, he's going to run it up. He'll get the first down. And Arizona takes a timeout. Stops the clock at twenty-eight seconds. Let's uh, cover four here. Cover four. McKinney will find Pierre Barnes. There's some positive yardage for Barnes. That of the receiving kind. Second and two. No huddle here by Arizona. McKinney. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Delivers a completed pass to Josh Scales. Scales was unable to get to the sideline to stop the clock. So Arizona scrambling to get a playoff here. One timeout left for the Wildcats. McKinney is going to deliver this one out of bounds. Weird footwork by McKinney on that play. I guess he was... Uh, deciding to run it up instead of pass it, but at the last second he decided to just chuck it to the sideline for an incomplete pass. There we go. Final play of the second quarter. This is incomplete. No shot there. And at halftime, our score is Arizona 13, Utah 21. Okay, they have ace. Okay, we can be under center here. A bit afraid that their only formations were a shotgun and pistol. We need to run it. First down for Fane, yes sir. Puts him at 55 rushing yards. First and 10 now. I'm gonna just... Browse the ace playbook. We'll go with this misdirection. Utes are in Arizona territory, so no need to risk anything here. Here's the misdirection. Bane on a foot race. Only gets three. Tackled by number 21. Second and seven. Alright, we'll go triple option now. That was Gordon Murphy with the tackle. And the Crosby, no game for him. Well defended by David Tate and the Arizona defense. So it's third and seven. We're going to have to pass it. Let's try PAFL stretch. wasn't lobbed. Needed that to be lobbed. Okay, should be a field goal try here. There we go. Wilson missed a 48 yarder earlier in the game. He's gonna go for 44 here. And he'll make it. Utah now up 24-13 with 349 remaining in the third quarter.
So on their last drive, Arizona throw an interception. Left the hands of the Arizona receiver and conveniently went into the hands of William House, the Utes defender. Here is a run by Barnes. Gain of two. But Barnes, well, they're not showing us his total rushing yards because he hasn't gotten much this game. He'll cover two man. This one headed for Scales will make the catch. First and ten now for Arizona. Yeah, line up, line up, bro. Read option keeper. And McKinney will get the first down. Arizona moves the chains. Let's try Mike Sam three scene. Oh, this one completed to Scales. Another catch made on the left sideline by Josh Scales on the drive. That's his fourth catch. Another first down for Arizona. Line up Lee. Oh, dude. Kenny using his arm to force the first down. What are we doing here, Utes defense? Kenny finding his way using his arm again. Look at the first down. Brad McKinney using the legs and the arm. Taking the pigskin all the way to the Utah four. This is handed off to Andrews. Hitch versus Andrews. Hitch wins this battle for now. Ball is spotted at the Arizona 2, I believe. Maybe the 1. Andrew, in the formation, he'll be handed off the ball. He's going to score. Touchdown for Arizona. Let's see if they go for 2 here. Nope, they're going to go for the field goal try. Not the field goal try, but the extra point try. And the score is now 24-20. Utes with the lead. Studio updates. Looks like LSU may lose this one. 106 remaining in that game. Hey, let's respond here. Utes. Gasparo returning it. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Here's a little highlight reel of the Utah offense. Touchdown to Garcia. And what else? Oh, Arizona included in this one. McKinney ran it into the end zone earlier in the game. And then Marcus Andrews took it in for the touchdown. The Utes will start off on their own 31. They're up by four. 229 left in the third quarter. There we go. Second and three now. No HP zone weak. Else. Number 38 stops Fane from the first down. So, third and one. Okay, should be a good enough hole for Fane to get the first. Yes, sir. First down for the Utes. Uh, 
Uh, read option time. Yep, yep. Looper with the keeper. Seven yards on the play. Second and three. Lord and Murphy now with seven tackles in this game. This moment will be handed off to Crosby. There we go. So Arizona tried to go with the blitz to stop the run or whatever. Whatever they thought we were going to decide to do there. Instead, Crosby gets the first down. And Fane out with the abdominal strain. Looks like he'll return soon. So for now, Crosby will have to run it up. He loses a yard there. Second and 11. Should have done read option. Uh, we can deal with... Uh, yeah, we'll have Crosby in the game until Fane is fully healthy. This one will be another run for Crosby. Can he push him out? No. Okay, third and five now for the Utes. Let's go wide shallow cross. I'm looking for a deep pass here. I just need the first. Nance drops it. Unbelievable. Would have been a first down there. Instead, we're going to have to go for the field goal try once again. Oof. There we go. Wilson, please make it. Yes. Field goal is good, and Utah is now back up by seven. It's a final. Ole Miss gets the victory. LSU drops to four and three. Sin Flynn, the QB for LSU, unable to get the victory over Ole Miss. Meanwhile, back at Rice Eccles Stadium, Arizona, will be on offense. Here is the game track. So I guess this is a McKinney reel. All the things he has shown off in this game. He is QB2 on the Wildcat squad. Andy Metcalf, QB1, has been injured for the majority of the season. On the first play, McKinney will decide to run it, and he'll be stopped. Loss of one. Second and 11. Clock is ticking, and we will head to the fourth quarter. So this Pac-12 matchup has Utah up by 7 as we head into the final 6 minutes of this game. Go cover 2 sink here on 2nd and 11. McKinney will hand it off to Pierre Barnes and Justin Hunter will... We'll push him out. It's now third and six. Strike corner dog one. There we go, broken up. That's Rashawn Kelly with the breakup of that pass. Oh shit, I chose PR left for uh, right hash mark punt, but it's all good. We just want the ball back. This one headed for Tanner Rice. And Utah will start off inside their own 40. Time for a little game management. I'm a 49ers fan, so I've heard that term plenty this 2021 season. One yard gain for Derek Fain. Second and nine. Let's 
go with the curls. Let's utilize our receivers here. Could have been a disaster. Instead, it's an incomplete pass. Utah will try again on third and nine. All right, we can go with the screen. Bain is back. That's uh, okay. I just noticed that. There we go, Derek Fain. Get in there. Oh, he's short. Okay, I think it's a good idea to punt here. Try to pin Arizona deep in their own territory. Ah, I don't know. Might have overkicked that one. I'm gonna get a return here by Sledge. Yeah. So Arizona has a ways to go. They will start off on their own 23. No big completions here, please. Barnes will run it on first down. Look at seven on the play. Second and three. Pierre Barnes running it again. And he'll get the first. So Arizona trusting their running game. We're able to get the first down there. Another run for Barnes. He breaks that tackle and he has open space. This will end up tying the game. So Arizona rewarded by sticking with the running game. That is a vicious stiff arm there by Pierre Barnes. 62 yards to the house. It's now 27-27 with 3.58 left in the fourth quarter. Another score update. And Louisville, okay, still too early in that game. Need a score, need a score. Now this will go to Tanner Rice. They finally figured out that they need to avoid Gasparro on the kick returns. Alright, let's do the read option. No. James Ramirez with the TFL there at 2nd and 12. Bucket. Move out the way. There we go. First down, Utes. That's Cooper's 6th carry. Now at 62 rushing yards on the day. We can manage to get this game clock down and hit the field goal with three seconds left. That would be nice. We'll take a touchdown as well. This will help Derek Fain. 14 yard gain on the run. He is nearing 100 rushing yards on the day. I'm choking on the read options, dude. It's now second and 14. We'll see if we can do a screen pass. Come on, get to him. Yes! 
First down for Utah. There we go. Makes up for that failed read option play. Mid draw time. Wait for this play clock to go down a little bit. Crosby runs it up. Gets seven. One will be handed out to Fane. Oh! Ran right into those men. Unbelievable. Third and three. We're not trying to get um, a touchdown at this point. Or do we need the first down, but let us go for the first down, though. Need to try and take this to the middle of the field, so I get an easy field goal. Bain is stopped short, and Arizona uses up their first timeout. Wilson's kick is good, and Utah now has the lead. Scores now 30 27. 55 seconds left. Arizona will attempt to drive it down the field. And Take the victory or tie the game. Either or. Let's kick this deep. Pierre Barnes, 79 rushing yards today. But I doubt they will utilize him on this drive. They only have 55 seconds left. They may use them for some checkdowns. But looking for deep passes and completions. Nine yards on the play. Rece uh, reception by Jelly Person. And Arizona uses up their second timeout. One timeout left for them. Lead it to Pierre Barnes. There's the check down I was talking about. And Arizona now has to scramble here. Not going to use the timeout. First and ten. Trying to keep them away from field goal range. And that does not help. Joe Jackson with the reception. He gets the first down. However, he was not taken out of bounds. So the clock will keep ticking. Should we go for a blitz? Let's try it. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. There we go. Incomplete. And Arizona is still stuck at the Utah 46. Second and 10. Can he back the pass? He will almost get this picked off by Javon Richardson. Third and ten. That was a dangerous, dangerous pass for McKinney. Arizona has not converted a third down today. McKinney will get this to Sledge. And he'll be short of the first down. Lock is ticking. They did not... Take it to the sideline. Fourth and three. Okay. 
Need three yards. They're going to get three yards. And they may have taken it to field goal range. Seven seconds left on the clock. I don't know. So we'll just do cover four just in case they're going to throw it deep. Wow. They're going to go for the end zone. <laughs> they had no faith in their kicker. So they didn't try for the field goal. And Utah will come off with the victory. Nick Gasparro, the player of the game. First kick returner I had for a player of the game. But he deserves it. 